Hi guys, this is Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to be looking at mind mapping applications such as Mindly. So the first thing we're going to do is just download Mindly from the App Store and then open it up. So once Mindly is open, you'll see this screen. And what we're going to do is we're just going to look at the one that's already created, which is here. And you can delete this by clicking and keeping old. And you can do this for all of your different mind maps. You can also duplicate this by clicking and then moving to the side and clicking copy here. While we're on this screen, we're just going to look at settings. So click the little settings icon on the bottom. And then this will give you settings towards your Mindly. So there's different options such as where to save it, to set a post uh, passcode, to replace it, etc. So the next thing we're going to do is just look at how to create a Mindly. So you click the plus symbol and this will open up a new mind map slash Mindly. And then you can title the first section of your Mindly like the center point. So for example, whatever topic it was. I'm just going to call mine main topic. Once done, you can also add extra information such as a description. And you can also further edit the Mindly. Uh, first section by for example changing the color and there's loads of different options so you can have different colors for different sections and you can also add icons and icons are essentially emojis that can add a little bit more explanation and a bit of fun to whichever mind that you're after so now we're just going to look at adding subtopics so you need to click one of the little circles and then this will create your extra subtopics for your main mind map I'm just going to call mine subtopic, but obviously whatever topic you are talking about, you'll be able to change it. You can choose again a different color for this to have different sections. And you can have as many subtopics as you like. So you can subtopic a subtopic, for example, and then go even further. And you'll see what I'm doing here. We'll just explain that. So within each topic, I'm going to make a couple of extra my maps about various different things again i'm just calling my subtopics but you could choose different versions of whatever you can also move these around it's a really nice feature that you can circle these and you can move them to make it a bit easier i'll just let you view what i am doing now and you can see how quick and easy the interface is and how to create the different subtopics and child topics of those subtopics so I'm just going to create a few more extra topics in the main heading so that you can see how easy it is to have such a big mind map but with micro topics within. So I'll just create two. To go back and view all of these topics, you need to click on the icon on the left hand side, which is arrowed, and that will allow you to view all of it as one section and you can scroll around and you can have a look at the entire mind map. So just back to a subtopic now, we're going to look at a few more options that are available. So I'm just going to name a few extra subtopics just to show you what you can do. So here you can see me deleting that topic by clicking and dragging into the delete box. You can also see me duplicating this by clicking and then pressing to copy here. And that will allow you to make as many as you want. And then you can name them if you want the same colors or the same explanation or title, for example. You can edit these though. Some people like to do that that way than actually create their own mind map. You can also click on the top right to add extra things other than just a topic. So you can insert, for example, a picture and then that picture can be used as one of your mind maps. So here you'll see it come up as a circle. And then all you simply do is just drag that on. You can then duplicate these just like you would duplicate an extra mind map. So just press it, keep hold of it, and then move it to a new, new section and it'll say copy here. There is a few more features such as selecting an image. So if you've got a photo already taken or you've downloaded one from the internet, you can also add this in a very similar way to taking a photograph, which is really, really useful. And again, you just drag and drop that from the circle into your mind map. The final feature is again another really useful feature which is web link and what that will allow you to do is add extra links uh, to various websites and it gives you a little preview. So here I'm just adding Google so you search for Google, press add and then you can add that web clip into your Mindly. So you'll see that now. So just click add, 
grab the little circle and drag that directly into your Mindly. Or you can even copy inside an extra section and create another subtopic based on that link. What's really useful then is if you press it, it will open up that website slash web clip so that you can go directly to that website. So we're just going to look now like what to do with our Mindly once it's done. So you can print your Mindly by clicking the print icon and you can share your Mindly so you can save it on the Mindly site. You can also save it as a PDF, as an image, text, etc. There's also extra help by clicking the help document and then the settings in which you can have more options. I hope you found that useful. That's Mindly in a nutshell and if you do need any more help, please have a look on the TeachBand website and YouTube videos. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.